We are to take you to Placide. I'll find him. Sure. Yes. Jim, there's this walkway where people are falling off the map. Find out what's going on. Just don't disappear yourself.
Hey, Judy. How are you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. I'll stay here for a while, too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? Can't talk right now. Okay, you were saying... So what did you come up with? The mocks died. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. I'm sure you've thought this through, Judy. Carefully. <laughs> Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tans and tone asses doing nothing. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Ooh, yes. Okay, so, what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Mike Omaida. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Maiko Maeda. Who is she exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. You sure Maiko's gonna want to join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around, then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. Oh, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Looking to get chipped. Looking to buy some cream streetwear. You've come to the right place. Come to town.
asiatic. Hello, V. Van on the loose. It needs retrieving. Coordinates provided. Head there. Except, you should expect animals prowling. Likely feral. Tails attached.
You made me a wealthier man, V. You raised the animal's hackles, too. Kudos. I respect those who make an impression. In the event of more... ...work, I'll know the number to call. Contract closed. Hey V, I heard some soldier just open fire on pedestrians at the pier. If you can swing it, I want him stopped, but not killed. Then I'll send the right people for him. More details are on the way. And V, good luck. Bum bum be dum bum bum be dum bum.
magazine detected. Move message. Thanks. Contact. The human brain remains active for up to several minutes after decapitation. So relax a little, don't I? I think your output would have something to say about that. discharge. I'm sorry. This never happens. Come on! I have an important message for you. Say anything to continue. Hit me with it. 
While running a routine diagnostic check, I discovered a file with my owner's metadata. Name, Regina Jones. User, please return me to my real owner. Thank you in advance. Okay, I'll take you to Regina. You are the best user I know. Chum, I'm the only user you know. Your memory got wiped. Fun fact. There is a 92% probability Regina Jones will reward you.
Pepe's wife? Remember me? Yeah, I do. I don't know what you told him, but thanks. Thank you so much. Construction workers went on strike after finding their tools in the morning covered in blood. Their site's a parking lot where gangs have been known to pop up. Gang violence is a maybe, sure, but my money's on a cyber psycho attack. If I'm right, do what you can to incapacitate them. I'll take it from there.
fiend. Wanted to tell me something? About the cyberpsychosis work? Nothing yet. Need well, no time for this. But we need more research subjects for any hope at all. Hey, the name Skippy ring any bells? If it's in a holster, more than a little psycho. You have Skip? Little bastard got swiped a while back. Let me see him. Let's see how you're doing. Run diagnostics. Performance, 82%. Memory, damaged. Mode, puppy-loving pacifist. Permanent lock. Permanent lock? Mm, something's gonked. Return to factory settings. Please set pistol name. Mmm... Daisy. My name is Daisy. You... You killed him! You killed Skippy! Come on. It's just an algorithm. Not a shred of consciousness. Not so sure. He... He had a personality. Quirks. Mannerisms. Mm-hmm. Protocol errors. A good hard reset always helps. Wait, where'd you get this iron anyway? Eh, knew a guy. Everyone called him Danish. Great techie. I mean, before he started hitting the bottle. Anyway, poker game. Danish cleaned out his cred chip, then bet his gun. I think you can put together the rest. The combat features are great, but why the voice interface, you know? Weird as hell. So... Something for my trouble? Sure. Here you go. Feels kind of weird now. It's too... quiet. Hmm. Maybe you should get a dog. Maybe. Someday. See you, Reggie.
Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Care to be a bit more specific? Wouldn't mind knowing what to expect. Expect everything. Miss a beat, she'll wrap you around her finger. Get you on her agenda while thinking you're the one in control. Ooh. <laughs> Guess I know the type. Some deets about her could be useful when I talk to her. Don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. So, in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Looks like you've come this way before. More than once. <laughs> I have, on occasion. Easy as paella. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yep, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the Mox. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a persona who is very non grata. Yes, V. I mean you. <laughs> Guess I left a lasting impression. Good. Paid you one visit, and you remember me. My job, among other things, is to remember unsavory customers. Naturally, I take it upon myself to deal with them, too. Now, how am I to deal with you? Came to Clyde's for info, left with info. All the while, I did my best to make sure no one standing in my way ended up in a garbage bag. Appreciate it. Now, what exactly are you after? Gonna go and harass another doll? Judy has a proposal. About clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this... loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the tiger claws. Okay, look, it's clear what happened to Ev was traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something, or everyone will end up like Evie. Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea. Think about it. It could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read negligible. 
Doesn't it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely? Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. You picked the wrong side, Maiko. I'll be the judge of that. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Don't worry. She put on an act. A few days down the line, she'll call and... Tell you her plan to take over clouds as if it was her idea. You might be on to something. Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Lying between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well... Used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you deck chair and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella? Somehow I don't see it. No. Me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? Well, what do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody? Fine. Want you to do it. You sure he's gonna be there? You met Michael. If that prick still works here, it's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end them. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. Welcome to N54. It's time for your local news. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Maiko? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. 
However, in an acceptance of caution, the NCPD has raised the threat level to two, advising travelers to avoid side roads. We'll continue to keep you informed as the situation develops. Where's Maiko? Why'd she fucking call me here? Evelyn's dead. Come here just to tell me that. It's fucking kind of you to remember. Here. Go light a candle. When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> Instead, I took her to a ripper. Was due a little something in return. She should be grateful. And so should you. Hmm. Here's my token of gratitude. the ground floor. Never even know they were in danger. What is it this time? The pipe that burst in our building. Those city bastards still haven't sent anyone to fix it. Watch your language. Can't you see who you're talking to? Please. What did you do? Well, we need the pipe fixed, that's for sure. Maybe something to fix up some of the units too. Thank you. Gotta get back to Michael with something big. Feeling to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. A minute there. Thought you were about to call it quits. V. I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule? Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop, how much ammo you'll use, how many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes, you gotta deal with the dirt. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V, and thanks. <laughs> 